cardistry trainers. What are they? How do they work? Can they actually help you improve your cardistry or magic flourishing skills? Coming up in this video. Hey guys, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm a full-time professional magician and I give my tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you elevate your magic to that next level. If that sounds cool to you, hit the subscribe button, that little bell icon, that way you don't miss a single video. Today we're talking about cardistry trainers. You've heard of them, you've probably heard of squids, they're the most popular ones out there. Um, if you haven't heard about squids, we're going to go into the whole thing right now. So for the uninitiated, cardistry trainers are usually some kind of plastic, wood, leather, metal, uh, tablets or plates, usually in uh, a, a arrangement of four to seven plates that you use in lieu of a standard deck of cards when training for cardistry. Now they're also used in other aspects too. Some cardists will use these just by themselves instead of a deck of cards and there's a number of reasons for that we'll get into later. So first let's talk about the advantage of cardistry trainers. Whether you get uh, squids or liquids or these other really cool ones that I'll talk about later in the program that I got from my friend Will, uh, they're, they're uh, these really cool, I've, I've never played with them before, but these really cool tablet or plates that allow you to do uh, packet training. So if you're trying to work on some kind of packet trick, five faces of Sybil, or some kind of false cut shuffle, something like that, some kind of flourish that doesn't require you to spread a lot of cards, then these are pretty phenomenal because they just, they're always in packet form. You can't drop a uh, single cards and have a big mess happen every time you mess up. You're only dropping, you know, one to four plates. There are some other advantages to these as well. If you're a cardist and you are just working on your skills or you only want to perform with uh, uh, these packets here, you're not going to be asked to do a card trick, which I know a lot of cardists really uh, get annoyed by. Cardistry plates also have a number of other advantages. They can be used as coasters. But I think the best advantage you get from using cardistry plates is that they're not going to warp or peel or change consistency if they get wet. So I mentioned a couple of other types of cardistry trainers that you can get, squids, liquids, those kinds. But I want to talk to you today about my friend Wills. He's got these out now. They're called the Sugar Gliders. And I'll leave links for these uh, in the description if you want to pick these up or check them out. But these are handmade by him. These have original photographs from Aspen, Colorado on them. Each one has a different image. And man, you know, I was never big into cardistry plates. I knew that cardistry trainers existed. I'd heard of squids. Never had any real interest in picking them up. And I saw my friend Will was uh, working on these and I went, you know what? It's probably time to give them a second chance. I wonder if he'll let me review a copy of them. And he did, to his credit. He sent these over the same day I asked um, and just dropped them off my porch, you know, contactless pickup, picked them up with, I have to mention, a little hand sanitizing wipe in there too, which was a nice touch. And I've been playing with them for a couple of days. I thought they were an interesting product, but I wasn't sure how I'd feel about them. You know, uh, I really like them. I haven't been able to put them down. They're my nice new fidget toy. I can work on all of the different packet cuts that I want to do. I've been actually training my right hand. I'm left-handed and I do all of my major uh, flourishes with my left hand, all the one-handed cuts and, and shuffles and everything like that. I've been working on that with my right hand to try to get my right hand up to speed. And having these plates has helped a lot with being able to train my right hand. Now, I have not been paid for this review or anything. I thought it was an interesting thing to bring up in any case. I was given these as a review copy, so I do need to make that uh, public. And the person who created them is a personal friend of mine. So take that with a grain of salt and know that uh, that might color my uh, impressions or opinions on this. But full transparency aside, I really, really enjoy these. I've been playing with them every day. So there's a little quick look at cardistry trainers. If you didn't know what they were, or you were looking where to get some, I would. Uh, I haven't played with the other ones. Truth be told, I haven't played with liquids or with squids, but I have played with these and I do like them a lot. And if you want to pick up a copy for yourself, there'll be a link in the description where you can go find out how to purchase these for yourself. I want to thank Will for lending these to me and allowing me to review them for you here on the channel. I really appreciate you guys. And hey, as always, this video and all videos on the Magic Minute are sponsored by Patreon. So thank you very much. Their names are scrolling across the screen right now. If you want to be a patron, you can go ahead and check the uh, link down below in the description. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you in the next one.